real life. So hello guys, hello for those of you who are watching from different social media platform. Uh, this uh, classroom access is only for 10 uh, select students. But you guys uh, watching from different social media platform can watch and learn from the camp, but you cannot interact with the mentor. So we still have a lot, uh, few minutes, like one minute, one and a half minute remaining to start the class. And we'll be starting the class as soon as all the students join. So today's topic is complex rook and pawn in games. We will be starting uh, in a minute from now. So. Okay, I am here. Okay. I will see. Okay, I see the students are here. Okay, we can, I guess, start. Uh, the students are joining in, but we can start. So, uh, for any new student who is joining in, we'll use chat box to interact with the mentor. And uh, interacting with the mentor, answering all the questions is compulsory in the class. Even if you are wrong, try to answer all the questions the mentor is asking. The level of the camp is high, but even if you uh, think that you may be wrong, but still try to answer all the questions. So over to you, Coach, and welcome back, Coach, uh, once again, and it's over to you. Yes, I think, right, I was, so I will try to switch on the video again. No, I can't so far. No, this is, no I can't, the host. It's yeah, you okay, can. No, no, I think it's good. okay. Yes, now it's now we we got um okay. So we, we will continue the rook and games today. Uh, we we look at some this time. Okay, and now You know, I see where we finished last time. Let me set up the position and then.
Okay, it was game Capablanca against Elise Casas in Moscow, 1936. Uh, why it is to move? Yes, at five, of course, at five. And now here, uh, yeah, that's the next example of the uh, deciding activity of the king uh, in rook end game. So after it takes a five, uh, now king f4. Yes, I have, uh, yes, of course, king f4. Um, here I have one other line, king f7. But king f7 is losing because of king f4. And after rook e8, what do we play? Yes, very good, Arun. Rook g3, we target the line. So now we dominate. And all pawn and games could be win winning. I think we want to play f6, rook g7, by the way. Uh, I think so. Okay. Um, King F four, rook E six. Black resigned. Okay, does somebody want to ask something, or should I, or should, should I go to the next position? Eskman, yeah, okay. She is. Mania, did, did you, do you understand me? Uh, you you want to ask something? Hello, uh, anyone has any question, they can ask. Uh, the coach will be keep on asking questions for the students who are not in practice. So let's move on to the next position, coach. Well, yes, here actually Aaron found this found the solution, but we we have here also Mania. Okay, I don't know why now I tried to talk with her, but okay, I think. Okay, well, let's move on to the next position and. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, uh, Manya. She did. She did not answer. So let's try to make her answer next time.
Okay, black is to move. So black is one pawn down and the pawn b6 uh, is attacked by the rook, so we see. Uh, okay, what do you think uh, black should play here? Okay, Arun, Mania, anybody, some... Some recommendations. Yes, Arun, uh, even if you, okay, this time, even if you know the. Uh, Arun, no, you're wrong. Uh, now black is to move, not well. And Mania recommends Rook D1. Uh, actually, almost, almost. I will read the comment, I will try to translate. Uh, well, the author says uh, king a, king h5 king h5. I think after king h5, I I play king e2. Let me read the comment. Uh, the author says passive defense uh, kind of rook d6 or rook b8 uh, um, guarantees. Um, Grant's black defeat here. So that, that will lose. Rubin, it was game Tarosh against Rubinstein in San Sebastian 1911. Uh, and uh, here Rubinstein feels uh, that the only chance uh, of counter play um, is, is, to, is to take the second, second rank. And um, again, we uh, he he understands that the only way is to activate the rook and activate the king. So rook d2 is the strong move. Rook takes b6, king g5. King e1, rook c2, rook b5. Okay, I said. I said King E one. Uh, and how would you, how would you play after A four? Have me try to answer. How would you play after A four? King of four is possible, uh, but what if I play uh, rook b3? I also want to place my rook here and push the pawn.
Yeah. See why it is winning. So I think okay that it looks it looks uh, good basically, but like you see, it's anyway too slow. So you should find something more effective in any way. Supposed to make it more interactive, I will uh, allow certain students uh, to switch on, to, like to talk, where you can directly ask from them what they are thinking and they have to answer. So yeah, that's, I, I, okay. Yeah. So I will allow now Manya to uh, talk, so you can ask any question from Manya and she has to answer that. Okay. So Mania, you are allowed to talk now and you can answer. Of course, yeah. you can any question you want to ask me. No, actually, here, um, what I want to say, uh, you see, um, the, the idea I think of working a few was, was kind of too slow, not effective, and uh, I just asked what to, what to play instead. Okay, here we, it's, it's concrete. Uh, we have to to find good counterplay. If we don't find counterplay, he will just push the pawns and he will resign. So, Manya, what did you understand? That the pawn is gonna get a queen. Okay. So let's. Uh, okay, this position I guess is done. We should move to the next position. No, it's not. Uh, okay, it's not done. Uh, no, uh, actually, here, yes, here I asked the question to everybody well, how, how to play with black. So, so how to play with black mania and everyone? You guys can answer. Yes, because here Ar I think that was Arun. Arun said King F4, but now we realized King F4 was was not correct. So, what do you think, uh, mania? What should be the next move for black? Yes, Mania, try to attack me, try to create the danger. And, and now you know that King F4 uh, will not help you at all. So, so what else? On F4. On F4, yes, correct. You wanna play F3 and then we'll be checkmate. The different because your move and uh, the move of Arun is if I play rook b3 now, okay, you can just push the pawn, and I can kick, kick your pawn with my rook. rook. If you, you see what happened. If you, the king was here, so here uh, after king f3, I have move c4, and the, this king can has to go somewhere. Yes, now yes, uh, Arun, you are right. Here uh, the pawn is very unpleasant. It's like a fish bone in in fraud. Thank you, Mani. And now I will give chance to Avni to talk uh, for the next uh, few minutes. Yes, actually, actually, that would. Uh, okay, here I have. Uh, let me see the con. Ah, uh, a four, uh, a four, f four, and here after I have after a five, uh, just a three. And this is and it's good, uh, good compensation, good counterplay here. It's because yeah, it's, I have at least draw now. For example, if he plays king g1, I can check. I can go here, go here, here, and now I can think of uh, like I say. Okay, I have at least draw. If I repeat, I, if I want to repeat. I, I will repeat and make a draw, but maybe I can try it now to play king g4, then I think, yes, yes, it's necessary to calculate, but probably I, I have, I think, now I think I have to agree for two. Of course, the ball is also dangerous, but 
But okay, basically, we didn't want to win this position. We, uh, we draw, we will ha we'll be happy. So, okay, let's go back to the game. Uh, After King G5, uh, King G1, Rook C2, Rook G5, now oh, King G4, King G4 has strong move. Ah, I think King F4 is bad because then we cannot push the pawns. And now, uh, White played H3. Yes, again, King F4 doesn't make sense because then we can't make progress, everything is paralyzed. Uh, so he just took. He took here, he takes B2, and uh, Black uh, made here draw without problems. Author says. Uh, okay, now, now it's all about this puzzle. So okay now now we now I will go to the next one. So I mean your your turn is next and you will have to answer the next move asked by the coach in the next person. Well actually it's good that I found this book and um, it's quite easy to realize there are not, uh, the, uh, the examples are short but very clear and uh, the comments are, are, there is not so much text. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's enough, it's much enough I would say and uh, that's what the comments I translate to are, are understandable. Uh, I think it's clear and Um, okay, here we have play Lilenthal against Smyslov in Leningrad 1941. Uh, and now the black is to move. Okay, what do, what do you think, guys? Uh, like to play here? So, so Avni, uh, you have you are your talking is enabled for now. So you have to answer. What do you think? Uh, black has to move while other can chat uh, type on chat box so Avni talking is permitted so she can answer what does she think that uh, black should move Avni, what do you think? What should black do now? Ten seconds. Yes, repeat again, please. Rook E1. Rook E1, this one. Mm, I don't know. Mm, what did she say? 
Uh, he said rookie one only. Uh, uh, rookie one, rookie one, uh, rookie one click. Okay, okay. I I don't like this move because then my king can go out. Actually, this puzzle is illustration of the same idea as in pre previous puzzle. That means uh, black cuts the king here on the sec on the second rank and activates own king. So here, yes, this uh, after rookie one, white king will get freedom. So, uh, so no, it's actually it's not rookie one. Mania says pawn g5. Yes, uh, g5 is correct move. In the game, was it takes a7, it takes a2. I think if he do, doesn't take on uh, h7, then we can push uh, h5, h4, we can try to push the pawns, like in previous puzzle. Uh, puzzle, uh, okay. Five rook h7, rook h2, rook h6 check. King e5, rook c6. Uh, we don't care about pawns. King e4, rook takes c5. And what now? So Avni, what's next? So it's again black to move. King f3 is the point. If you play, but if you keep play king f3 now, I, I will take the pawn and I keep your, I take the pawn and I keep your king. So. Yes. Yes, or F4, of course, F4. And after, okay, here you say G takes F4, actually, I have E takes F4, and now King F3. Okay, now H3. Yes, we are four pawns down, but anyway, it's draw because of activity. Yeah, I want to mention that uh, move h4 w wouldn't help because this, this, this uh, white can play here because of checkmate. Uh, yes, and here also uh, the auto says as well. Okay, here um, black sacrificed uh, a couple of pawns and uh, are created in the in the camp of enemy, and here uh, and in this way they can uh, rescue. They can they can save the the game, the save the draw. The game finished like this. We, we see here so the pose the draw uh, okay so was game of missile one well, or world champion um we go okay we go to the next position so next position my request is give it very very hard uh, because uh, I will be allowing Arun to Arun is first class is today right now in this camp, so make it very hard for Arun. So I will be allowing Arun to talk. Arun is a very very chatty, very good student on chat box, but this time we are going to allow Arun to talk. So Arun, do not type anything. You will be allowed to talk, talk and explain what do you think. Uh, yeah, and now we will have have a game between two world champions, Alakin against Capablanca in Buenos Aires, 1927. Uh, okay, here the king is missing, I see. And this time white will be to move. Mm, so, okay, um, okay, that's the position. White to move. Here we go.
Sarun, you are allowed to talk now. Look A4, yes. And actually, I think that was the uh, the world champion match here. That was the last game. And uh, uh, yes, here uh, Alekin became a world champion uh, here after this game. Okay, look A4, uh, strong move. And the author says it's, it's the correct place for the rook behind uh, the pawn um, and on the same line. Now, uh, uh, now the activity of the black is deducted and uh, can move a lot. Uh, yes, and the same principle, the same idea we will see in next. Uh, in next puzzle, but okay, actually, how about this puzzle? Here I, I see just look a, a4, just one move. Yes, and I think the okay, the next move will be just to go with the king to kick and from other pawns. So I think it's quite easy actually. This rook has two functions protects here and cuts here, so, so the, there will be not from uh, no from to play like, like this because the rook controls everything. So the ball stays at Arun's court still. Uh, so Arun will have to answer uh, the question. And the remaining, please answer in chat box. Do not wait for Arun to answer. You can still answer on chat box. OK, again, why it is to move? Uh, OK, actually, yeah, I, I told in in previous puzzle what the idea will be uh, but okay what what do you think maybe somebody wants to say something that's why i asked Maybe we can go f5. Yes, f5, and Mania also says f5. Yes, that's the same idea. The rook is behind of uh, behind the pawn, and this is uh, very unpleasant for black. It's why okay, white white is basically winning. And here, yeah, again, uh, black they can't move uh, with. This rook a lot, uh, but uh, white rook is free, where, uh, and and here it will fall. Uh, it will uh, bring flag to two tank. Here, of course, we take with the pawn. Here, the auto just mentioned mentioned that rook takes f five would be very bad because of the rook g8, if the g5 done, the rook is not so good place here. Uh, 
Yeah, this is uh, this is what here black rook has freedom can can do a lot. I think I play rook d6, maybe yeah, after if rook e5, then I think king d6. Okay, I see I can see why it can really make progress in this position because of a uh, bad position of the super. I mean, the rook is here. Okay, uh, g takes f5. Um, G takes f i g f g f rook f6 now rook f4 we wanna play b4 so black plays b4 played b4 here okay the point is here here after d4 king e4 with idea king e5 i think so he didn't do that mm. yes uh, here auto says and here uh, he was the choice for white bet between d4 d4, but he says d4 is losing immediately because of, of, of king e4, rook d6, rook f3, king c4, b3, king b4, now rook d3, uh, king c5, king e5, uh, and the, uh, the moving of this pawn will decide about about the game result actually this is uh, yeah for black it's very unpleasant it's like i said it's just lost um okay let's look what happened after b4 in the game after b4 b3 that we, i have next comment um uh, Yeah, this position uh, uh, shows us very clearly how important it is, it is to keep uh, the rook uh, behind of the pawn. Uh, so here, uh, white can white has unlimited um, unlimited moves with his rook everywhere. You can go here. Uh, can go here, here, and like I said, it um, it will bring to Zugzwang. Um, yeah, and here he played before. Now play, played b three. We fixed the pawn, so it also helped us to create a Zugzwang for our opponent. Okay, rook f seven, f six, king d six, king d four, king e six, rook f two, king d six. Uh, now rook a2. Now there is concrete concrete danger. Rook a6 and rook a7. We wanna kick the uh, kick the king, and we uh, wanna go forward. Okay. Now the rook is not behind the four. It will be uh, on the on the side. But now we create concrete danger. It's kind of transformation of the advantage. Now we can allow. We can do that. And here, of course, it needs some calculation because, uh, yeah, we have to see that the pawn endgame is lost. Let's let me show the pawn endgame first. Okay, you everything everybody know that it's lost, right? Now black resigned. I have here the continuation of this line.
Okay, and now that we have a winning pawn and game again after we take the pawn. Uh, the other, but the author says the other, the other way was uh, here instead of instead of uh, rook b6. King takes d5. Rook c3. Now rook a8. We have idea f7. But after rook f3, if he protects in any way f7, again the pawn after here the pawn and game will be winning for us. Yeah. Mm. Okay, this example is almost identical. Only the position of the pawns of the king side uh, uh, shows us uh, not visible but very important uh, differences. Uh, and because of of them, uh, White could save a draw here. Why rescue? Find a rescue here. Okay, how would you def defend with white now? I'm enabling uh, Avni to talk. The rest of you would have to answer on chat box for this. King e3, yes, but after king e5, not uh, not rook a3. I think if you play rook a3, Okay, maybe rook c5. I think rook c5 or rook c6. Probably rook c5. Okay, let me see what computer says. Okay, after rook c5, you play rook c3 probably. Actually, I have other move, but computer says uh, rook a3 is also fine. Yeah, because after rook c5 or rook c6. Okay, let's okay, let's try. Let's try. I play rook c5. What do you do? Rook c3, right? Rook c6. Yes, the only uh, point is now you have to do something.
Mm. Oh, okay, this is this is draw. I see. Yeah, now I can see that. Okay, that was other option. Let's see what let let's just see what the book says. Um, the book says in this position, rook c2 first. C free king d3. Yes, now there is the comment. If no, with the difference to the uh, previous example here, after uh, rook c7 is just a draw if we take here. Now the king is going on f6 and it's draw. And that was the difference uh, I mentioned uh, at the beginning. Then. The, the difference is here in the pawns on the in, on the king side. If the rook d three, king d eight, king d three, rook d for the last try. Take c three, take c four, take f three. Okay, basically he won the pawn. Rook c six, uh, rook c six. Okay. Uh, after king f5, we have rook c5, and that's the rescue. Here he was rook f4, uh, king e3, rook e4, king f3. Uh, king f5, rook f6 check, king takes g5, rook takes g6, draw. No, it's not winning for black. Okay, now black is to move. Was game coach no against uh oh, black is to move and here we say that the white has strong uh queen is very active, is central, and it uh, guarantees white advantage. But from the other hand, the key, white king is uh, weak because the uh, the pawn are separated, and and here, okay, the rest, I won't read the rest. Rest, I will. I will just uh, ask you, how would you play now with black? No, black is to move. Mm. 
Yes, Queen D3 might be possible, I think. Uh, let's see what computer says. Computer says King G8, just to wait. But Timon, that was game Korchnoi against Timon in Hilversum 1972. And uh, Timon uh, made mistake in evaluation of this position. And uh, instead of defend uh, with queens, um, he goes to the uh, rook endgame in uh, which will be important that uh, the rook is behind the pawn in and uh, that's the very important thing uh, and he played queen d6 queen six is yeah that was mistake queen d6 he would exchange and now just b6 would be eight b7 would be eight and now again we we try to transpose to the opponent game. King g2, king f6, king g3, king e5, king g4, f6, h4, king d6, now rook b6 check. Important move. Uh, he doesn't allow king c7. Okay, after king c7, I will take all every pawns here. Uh, every pawns will fall. If the pawn e6 will fall, if I have six, rook of the six rank, um taking e5 okay it was not better to play king d7 now because we play f4 with the next next move h5 Yeah, and now again we have two Zwang. Uh, and now uh, White White will be able to create post pawn. So he he had to move the pawn. He play e5, then f5, gf king f5, king d4, h5. E4. King okay, f4, king d3, h6, e3, rook b3, king d2, e3, takes b7, now rook h3. And now again, we have the rook behind the pawn. And uh, now we have the, this post pawn we, we created. And here, black just resigned. Well, after this, just king f5 here. I can play king g6, but even I have time to take the pawn. King f2, this, 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 let's say this, 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 and over. Okay, how is it? Okay, maybe. Uh, protect okay i can start one more but maybe now we have we can use that uh, dot, uh, those last minutes maybe for general questions or about root can, can so we, we can do one more position i guess uh, in a root can game one more position okay so we yeah. don't uh, just five minutes yeah. Q &A, we, let's not do q a and this position will do something interesting because i have near has answered very less this time so till the point Avni is un not answering no one will write on chat box once we hear Avni's voice then only uh, anyone will write answer so understood yeah, plan? Actually, actually we want everybody to be, be like Arun he He's, he's writing all the time, all the time he recommends, he's very active, even even if he's wrong, it doesn't matter, he, he writes, he, I see he, he works uh, during the lesson, that's, that's important, that, that's what makes make me happy, so. Yeah, so let's, uh, motto of the day, be like Arun, and uh, so Avni, you are allowed to talk, and you have to keep talking, uh, once the position is set, just keep on talking, 
what you are thinking. The best part of students like Aruna, Naditya, and Balaji, they keep on chatting. So let's he, let's let us hear what you are thinking. Yeah, and now we have we have a game uh, Pan against Paul Gajewski in uh, Percropolis in 1973, and here. Um, Okay, again, okay, actually the same question. How would you play with white? Yeah, I will try to translate so, the comment. Uh, just, uh, I will just uh, request Arun to hold his horses, keep the answer. <laughs> and till Avni has not answered, no one will answer in this class. Yes, so, the answer says uh, white rook is more uh, active and, this, and the structure is uh, on the... On, no, no, on queen side, but on king side is better. It's, it's why it's why this position is better for white. So we have we have white to move or black to move. Uh, white is to move. White is to move of knee and just let us know what you are thinking. Coach has already hinted that uh, one side position pawn structure is better than other side, and so what and do you think? Here, I mean, I mean, uh, just king side that. Yeah. But here, why uh, white structure is better? Does it suit? Yeah, logical. The, here are double pawns. Here, here are one and two groups. Why? Why I have just uh, one group? So tell us, Avni, what do you think? Um, H five. Uh, how? H5. No, white is to move. If you mean pawn H5, no, uh, white is to move, not black. Tell us what you are thinking as well. You must be thinking something inside your mind. So tell us. Um, H two. No, you're going up. H two. No, it's not. H two is here. I can't place any piece there. Yes. Um. I'm sorry. H four. Pawn H four. It's honestly I don't know what you wanna reach it reach here. Okay, so for you can do breaks and the exchanges will, will be not good for you. And also here now that that pawn my hand maybe I can play rookie eight rookie four. So actually yes I think that's. Okay, maybe not immediately, but actually, I, I think it's better not to move the pawns here. So far, the pawn is connected. Are connected? We have pawn chains, so that's uh, so so that's better. That's more solid for us. I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't move uh, move the pawns. One more chance of me. Uh, what should why do mm -hmm. meanwhile arun is now allowed to uh, write solution in chat box rook before tightening the grip basically yes i will have good idea but technique might be better look uh, maybe okay now i have to say what what was in the game Okay. First, because there was rook a4, now the pawn is hanging. The only way to defend is rook a, and now rook d4. Now the here rook is even more passive than uh, on on c8. So that's okay. That's what that was one thing uh, you could do better. But uh, but basically your idea was was good. Rook b8, king c2, rook b5, rook b5. Now now again he probably. Rook c4. I think he provokes c5 now. The game was rook a5. Mm. He, the author says rook b6 was very passive. Uh, 
and here and here the idea for white will be to to go uh, on c5 here and here that will be light victory for uh, for white here, okay maybe i don't play king d3 immediately because of rook b2 but maybe first i play e4 well i just tell the picture that the king is coming on c5 Okay, after rook c4, rook a5, a4, h5, king b3, h4, rook takes c6, king g7, rook d6, rook e5. Okay, now we are one pull up. Maybe here will be some counterplay if the rook will be on g3, but I think we will survive it. Uh, well, Mm. Uh, rook d6, rook e5. Okay, now he just took here. Rook e3, rook e6. Uh, rook e takes h3. And now rook d1. Strong move. Uh, and now again, this is the same idea. The k idea was is to play rook a1. And here also we will control the first rank because the pawn, this pawn will also run right. Yes, that are actually the best move. We we connect attack. I mean, we uh, at, at, with attack. I mean, uh, the walk of of the spawn, and we uh, and with defense attack with defense. So we defend the first one because the run with the pawn with will also run right. Rook d one. Okay, in the game uh, where was here king h six, a five rook e three. Uh, a6, rook e8, rook a1, h3, king b4, king g5, a7, h2. Okay, now it's not good to promote, it's clear. King b5, king g4. I think he just calculated everything. And here, c4. Yes, we have other pawn. Which can help if we if we go here, then we can go here and uh, one rook can stop two pawns. About the way after king f5, he played now rook h1. Okay, actually those two pawns will will have no chances against those two pawns. Even this pawn will be enough, I think. I think even. Okay, no, actually, this pawn we can use up as a shield. If we will go here, and we can play c5 and we can cover the king. There are no more checks. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, I think, uh, well, time is up. That would be all for today. I yeah, thank you. And uh, as, as at the end of the class, I always mention student with good performance uh, today so arun hands on uh, it was first class and he really really uh, performed really well keep it up arun and <clears throat> remaining guys try to be expressive in the class try to answer all the question do not be afraid of making mistakes in life by mistakes only you will learn and become a better chess player so by not answering you are not helping anyone uh, you are not helping coach Rado, <laughs> you are not helping yourself because as long as you keep on answering, uh, we will know what you, how you think and uh, we will help, will help uh, you to go to the next level. So thanks once again coach and we'll see you next week on the same time. And uh, so on this note, uh, we take a leave, have a great evening guys and have a great night coach. And, I or I have almost morning here in India, so thanks once again. Thank you, everyone. Good, good. Thank you. Okay, see you then. Sure. Bye.